Hey guys, the Plunk here. Um, today, you can tell the video is a little bit different. It's not just my voice or some video game footage. I'm actually in front of a camera and I'm actually going to talk about another hobby of mine, uh, which is actually comic book collecting. I live here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and just around the corner of the next year or two is going to be the Toronto Comic Con. Um, which is actually one of the biggest conventions for comics in Ontario. So I thought it'd be a good time for people that are just starting to get into comic book collecting on where to start. What, what do you do? So you've decided to collect comics. Fantastic. Now is the perfect time to get into comic book collecting. Uh, the major companies such, uh, such as DC, Marvel, they've all revamped a lot of their lines and they start back to issue one. Uh, so that way you're not trying to jump into something that's been going on for like half a century trying to figure out who's who and what's going on and who's that. Uh, so it's nice to actually have a new starting point. Now it's not like they're restarting the stories. There are continuations, but everything is, is starting over. It's fresh. It's, it's brand new, which is a really nice thing for a lot of new people like you who are trying to get into comics. So, who do you choose? That's totally up to you. What kind of names do you, do you who do you know? Who do you like? Uh, a few that I personally collect, uh, I'm just going to show some older issues, be something like the X-Men. Got some good old Superman. Everybody knows soups. Uh, I have a thing for Thor. Thor is pretty awesome. Uh, you also have something like Batman. Cause Batman's badass. And you know it. And then my ultimate favorite, Spider-Man. One of the most known are actually Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man. So they're actually a good place to start. Uh, there's many issues for all of them. Uh, they all have current lines that are running right now. Um, some great stories that are being pumped out for all three of those major players. So, you now have a name, you now know who you like. Where do you go? Well, easiest place is your local comic book store. Um, a lot of stores will have what's current. They'll have your back issue, so stuff that's no longer current. Uh, a lot of these places will also have bargain style bins where you'll find comics usually ranging from 25 cents to a dollar. Uh, it's a good place to start experimenting with different characters. Uh, it's also a good place to grab other issues of, of the characters you do like. Um, I've discovered some great, great heroes like Moon Knight, Iron Fist, um, like Black Canary, uh, Green Arrow. I've discovered a lot of those guys on my own just by going through those bargain bins and finding the old beaten up issues or issues that have never actually sold. Another really good place are comic conventions. Uh, comic conventions, you'll find some pretty cool stuff. Like you'll find current issues or back issues for fairly cheap. Uh, you will find collections. As for an example, I got myself the whole 10 set of Age of Ultron. And I paid for all 10 issues, I think I paid about $3 for all of these. Just because they were in the bin, they were all kind of mixed up. Issue one and issue 10 were not there. I ended up going to the, uh, the next booth or two over and actually finding them for about a quarter each. So you can always find good deals. Another thing, if it's a current issue and you're trying to catch up, would be something kind of like graphic novels. These are thicker style books. Uh, this one here is of Iron Fist um, and it's issues one through six. Um, it's nice because something like this will get you caught up so you can actually know what's going on, you know the story, so then when you jump into those current issues, you already know what's going on, uh, you're not too far behind. Uh, and then if you decide, hey, you know, this is really solid, what, you know, I want the whole collection, well then you can take this and then pick those issues separately. So that's one thing that I have done. Another nice thing about conventions are you actually get to meet and greet with some of the writers and some of the artists. As for example, uh, in Niagara Falls, there was a comic convention. Well, there's one every, uh, every year. And last year I met actual, what's his name? Richard Connolly. So I know Captain Canuck is really a Canadian thing and it's only a Canada thing, but I got it signed. Uh, I actually talked with the guy for, 
oh my goodness, like something like an hour or two talking about the comic business and how it was getting into it, uh, talking about writing for the comic, talking about finding artists and whatnot. Really cool concept. Um, so if you're ever in an area that has a convention or can go to a convention, I would highly recommend going. Um, lots of good finds, lots of great prices. Uh, you get to meet a lot of these guys that do a lot of the artwork. You get to meet some of the writers. Uh, you get a, get a feel for actually how the comic book world works. It's really, really, really awesome. So, you got some titles. You got a couple things. You're really rocking. Now to tell you about Free Comic Book Day. You heard me right. Free comics. One day a year... A lot of comic book stores will have this and a lot of companies will get together and they will launch the free comic book day. As you can tell, free comic book day. Um, and it's not just independence. Uh, Marvel has some. Uh, DC did. Uh, I believe it was last year or the year before they launched uh, Future's End. And it all started with free comic book day. It's a pretty good score for people that are just picking up comics and now they have the magical number zero issue. So, you now have your issues, what do you do with them? Uh, you've read them, they're amazing, you want to keep them, you want to preserve them. Easiest thing is your good old bag and board. Uh, you can buy these supplies fairly cheap at a uh, comic book uh, store. Uh, you just get your boards and your bags. Usually when you pick up, some of the better stores actually throw these in included. If not, they're a matter of like five cents or something. Uh, once they're done, you'll see where like, they protect your comic. Um, another thing to do once you have your comics bagged and boarded would be getting something like a short box or a long box. And then you just throw your comics in, good to go. Um, you can also get a long box. Long boxes are about two or three times the length of a short box. Um, I don't go with long boxes just because I find they're fairly, fairly heavy and fairly large and that actually will bring me into my next point which is where do you store your storage boxes so I go with short boxes just because room is a big issue uh, for me um, when I first started I was in a smaller apartment than I am now so finding a place to store the boxes was a bit of an issue and I would have them on the side of my computer just just to get them out of the way. I didn't mind it, but I got a lot of wife aggro because of it. So I would recommend um, finding a place to store. Um, why, like I said, why I went with short boxes is now that I'm in my new place, I have uh, a bookshelf where I actually keep all of my, uh, my boxes on. And I find the short boxes fit in a whole lot nicer than one giant uh, long box. So, there's some of your basics. Uh, yeah, hopefully some of this may have helped you. Um, if you have any questions, please write in the comments down below. Um, I'd be glad to answer any questions. Like I said, this was just like a quick crash course into where to find some of the media, uh, how to how to you know how to store real quick. So hopefully this helped you out a little bit. And uh, yeah, so until next time, enjoy collecting.